Starting off with a close up. Dang. First off, that bass, bro. Love that bass. Oh my god, oh my god. Mashiro, come on. Oh. Yes, sir. This is quality, man. I, this is what they're doing with the lighting, too. This is just on point. Oh my god, Youngin. Oh my god. Bro, I love how, like, kind of light she sounds. Like, her voice is really complimenting the instrumental right now. Oh, yeah. Wow, you can. This is like. Yo, honestly, bro. So I know y'all know how, like, Hikaru after the whole Kepler, you know, thing goes over. Like, that was a weird way to word it. What I mean is, like, after Kepler finishes activities and they kind of wrap their, you know, promotions as a group, it's. No longer a rumor at this point, Hikaru, I think she has plans to join XG because she's from uh, AVEX Entertainment. I feel like people definitely have mixed opinions about it. When that becomes more of a reality, I will make a separate video on it. But in terms of like concept, I feel like Hikaru has no issue jumping into a concept. Like I think she'll fit in perfectly. Um, but oh, like lineup and like chemistry, like that's a, that's a different thing. And like people are kind of like putting up in the air, like is it should she join this late in the group that's a whole different thing i don't know i just think y2k is really hikaru can thrive in that is this just me bro tayon's voice is so crisp and i think she's getting she's getting prettier every comeback bro This is a different vibe low key for her. Like, this is kind of like cute. I mean, that's really cute. Yes, sir. Uh, young man. Oh. oh my god. This is their grooviest. Song. Is this just me or styling like even a level like it, it leveled up? She is coming for everybody this era. That, oh, I, her voice is so charming in that. I will have to say, Youngin is still on the show right now for me. But we're gonna get some bars from Shouting. This is a cool set. They're like mini, they're like miniature. She's so... Unreal. Yeah! I don't- I don't know why- I don't know why Yeso just- who did she even eat? What the heck happened? Was that Cheon? Why did why did he she eat her? I mean I had the feeling like they were kinda of going for like this like action figure like type concept. I don't know why. 
I don't know why she got eaten at the end, but I'm sure there's a story to all of this. There's an explanation to all of this. 